Welcome back here with Money, Money, Money. And this week we're in conversation with Mr. Vikas Sachdeva as well as with Mr. Anil Koturi of Edelweiss. Uh, so, gentlemen, we've discussed housing and home loans. And Vikas, now it's your turn because we're now talking investments. Sure. Um, equity versus fixed income. First, I'll take up fixed income for the, the simple reason that a lot of investors and a lot of our viewers are looking for more efficient options than a fixed deposit because everybody understands that at current FD rates and the rate of inflation and taxation, it doesn't leave much in hand. What sort of uh, debt funds do you think will be suitable in the current environment? Well, I'm glad you asked this question because uh, you know most of the conversations which happen uh, about mutual funds usually try, tend to revolve around equity. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas the fact of the matter is that in, in an investment type of a scenario, comfort is more important than conviction. You know, you have a generation of people who've grown up on fixed deposits, who've grown up on uh, more stable, if you will, uh, reference points in terms of investments. So it makes a lot of sense for an investor to actually start looking at a liquid fund or a debt fund to start his investments with. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, there was a survey which was done some years back. The average life of an investor, if he comes into an equity fund, you know, it would be around four, four and a half years. But if he comes via a debt fund, Mm -hmm. and transcends the journey from debt to equity, it's around 12 years. Okay. Okay, so that's a dramatic difference. Uh, but specifically to answer your question, I think in this era of, you know, interest is going down or interest is being under pressure. Traditionally, we are a high interest rate economy. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I can translate that, it's a yield-hungry economy. Mm -hmm. People want to look at the best deal for themselves. Yeah. Often what is ignored is if you move away from just letting your money lie in a savings account or an FD, and move to even a liquid fund, that tends to give you better returns. Okay. How uh, much better are we typically talking about? See, fixed deposit would give you a taxable return of around, what, 4, 4.5% four in yeah. terms of a savings account. Yeah. On an average, liquid fund would give you around 6 and a half, seven percent You know, you've okay. got a dividend plan, you've got a lot of other things. But, and again, you can set this off against, uh, you know, uh, certain other losses which you have. My limited point being that if you shift to a liquid fund, not only are you partaking yourself of a slightly better post-tax return, mm -hmm. but you're actually enabling your journey into the mutual funds much better. Okay. You can shift from a liquid fund to other asset classes, be it gold, be it uh, you know, long-term debt, be it equity, be it arbitrage, simply because you've already got into that segment. So when you say shift to other asset classes, how easy is that shift? And are there seamless products out there? And you know, how does one go about doing this? Well, absolutely. As an industry, this is a very convenient industry once you get in. You mm. know, uh, And SEBI is now working with uh, AMFI uh, and the Mutual Fund Advisory Committee to actually streamline the process of onboarding in terms of an investor. Mm. You know, The KYC regulations are being trimmed down. So once you get on board, uh, it becomes very seamless. You can actually go online to a uh, mutual funds website if you want the same schemes. Otherwise, there are platforms like the MF Utility Platform. Uh, there is a BSC Star MF Platform. There is an NEC Platform, mm -hmm. wherein you can just switch, you know, between two funds, between two fund houses, between two schemes, just like that. And okay. it's very seamless. In fact, okay. you don't even need to sign anything. Apart from liquid funds, uh, anything else that uh, you think is advisable in the current interest rate environment and just the general nature of the market? Well, see. Uh, Typically, in a lower uh, lower uh, trending interest rate situation, mm -hmm. you will find that equity funds tend to do much better. Okay. okay, the key thing is how do you enter equity funds? Because it is not the concept of equity funds which scares people; it's the volatility associated with equity funds mm -hmm. which scares people off. And uh, one of the things the mutual fund industry is actively promoting is mm -hmm. basically SIPs. Okay, uh, SIPs would tend to reduce the volatility over a period of time simply mm -hmm. by rupee cost averaging. Yeah. However. The conundrum remains, what do we do with the lump sum money? Uh, SIPs is now fairly well established, but if you have lump sum money, most people tend to get trigger happy. You mm. know, they see rising markets, they want to go and put in money there. Yeah. Which is where I think a concept like a systematic transfer plan becomes that much more attractive. Mm. So you take your lump sum, pack it into a liquid fund, mm -hmm. okay, and then instruct the liquid fund what needs to be done. Either the money can be transferred uh, on a monthly basis to equity funds, it can be transferred on a weekly basis. In fact, there are fund houses now which will give you a trigger. Mm. So if the market, for example, falls by 1%, you know, a certain sum of money can be transferred the same day okay. from a liquid fund to an equity fund, which gives so. you the power of timing. Mm. and time both. So the advantage here being that even if you have a sizable portion of money that's suddenly available with you, if you park it in a liquid fund, it anyway works better Absolutely. and then you systematically keep moving it to equity Absolutely. and hopefully that's, that's long-term wealth creation. Well, we'll take a quick break on that note, but on the other side, the conversation continues and we throw in some more asset classes. Gold prices have been trending down, so should you be cashing out or should you be actually stocking up on gold? We'll get you the right asset class mix with our experts on the other side.